Well, good afternoon, Fine Arts Theater class. I suppose this is my last video for the class because we're going to open up the last module. Schedule's a little functified here at ASUBB. Next Wednesday is a dead day here on campus. So this last module will actually not be due until a week from Wednesday, so more than the typical week in the class because I don't really want to do something different next week uh, in a three-day. That doesn't seem realistic. And so... Uh, last module covering A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen, which is uh, often uh, it's attributed to be a, um, a comment on fez feminism or a promotion of feminism. I don't know that that's what Ibsen's going for. What Ibsen is is a realist, and he is dealing with the harsh realities that real life sometimes brings. And here is a woman who uh, took out a loan to in essence, save her husband, something that's not allowed to do, and then everything ensues from there. And her disappointment in the end is with her husband not seeing her for the person that she believes that she is. And then what follows is an interesting statement in a culture where women have no rights, property, um, ownership uh, of themselves or their own stuff. And uh, so we'll see uh, what you think about that. And um, my question once you watch it is, um, what do you believe this show is about? Because a lot of people talk about feminism. I don't think he's making a statement about that. Um, I think he's making a statement about some other things. So watch that. What does happen in this show is that a lot of choices are made. Um, choices to... Um, stay or not stay choices um, to do something that is illegal um, not allowed but maybe for the greater good and what a lot of students try and tell me on this next to last paper is that um, I make choices in real life and the playwright doesn't that's not the point of this final regular assignment the point of this final regular assignment is two pages, a thousand words. Half of it is about how you go about making a choice. It's a very personal thing. How you make choices may not be how, probably not how I make choices. What's the process with which you go through? And then secondly, how is that different than how the playwright uses the role of choice? So for instance, the playwright is telling a story. But I, most playwrights I know say that the, the ideas just came to them. And then they ran with them and they followed them. So they had an idea about a, a, a woman, you know, in late 1800s who takes out a loan to save her husband. And then they followed that through to the end. In Ibsen's case, it's coming during the real, you know, the period known as realism. And the goal is to show something that's really real. It may be painfully real, in fact. Um, in a recent... Uh, in recent days, um, Hamilton is about the founding fathers, about Alexander Hamilton, a character that we don't talk about very much. Um, but Lynn manuel Miranda uses people of color to, to depict all those characters that, that would have been white and are thought of as white. And he does so for reasons. Why, why do the playwrights do what they do? How do they use choice? How would the doll's house be different if Nora makes a different choice at the end? Uh, I think these are important questions. And so this next paper, which is due a week from Wednesday at midnight, thousand words, two pages on one, how you go about making choices, and then compare and contrast that with how the, the playwrights use the role of choice for their characters, how they go about making those choices. Um, so that's going to be the last assignment for the class other than the final. And I'll talk about the final in a minute. Um, we will have come up. I didn't quite get to our, to our town this semester, but I came close. Uh, so we're now in the 1900s and kind of come up into the modern era of theater. So, paper on the role of choice. That's going to be the last um, regular season, regular semester assignment in this class. The final gone 50 different ways on this while I was teaching this. 
What I do in my face-to-face -face class is that I ask the students to write a paper. I'm not allowed to do that in an online class. Um, but it is decidedly um, my preferred way of doing examinations. I don't like A, B, C, D, E. I don't like uh, true false. I don't, I don't prefer them. Some people are naturally more gifted at test taking than others. It just is. Test anxiety is a thing. I don't like them. So there will be an exam, but let me tell you, basically there will be five questions on that exam. You can't really study for it. If you've done the work in this class, you will do fine. There will be five questions. Uh, they will be writing questions. And that will open up next Thursday and be open to the following Tuesday. You'll have whatever, about six days uh, with that final exam. Um, the reason that it's not really studyable, forable, is that I'm trying to measure what you've gotten out of the class. Um, and so it's going to ask you things about uh, questions about things that we have studied in this class. That's all. That's all it's going to do. It's ask, going to ask you to write about them and demonstrate to me that you learned some things in this class. So I guess if there's any, somebody asked me about study guide, no, except to go back over the things that we have studied. Um, and it will be a writing opportunity and you will have several days to do it. Okay. Um, I've enjoyed the class. You all seem like a lovely group. And uh, hopefully you have gained an appreciation of theater. This is a theater appreciation class. I, I do hope you learn some factual information about theater that maybe is helpful in, in, in developing ideas about theater. But more than anything else, I hope that you gain an appreciation of theater. So there are two final assignments this week. One is about a doll's house. It's a simple one. Then by next week, you need the paper on the roll of choice. And then the final will open up on Thursday and you'll have till Tuesday to do that. So, uh, y'all have a great week and I, I would say I'll talk to you soon. Love to meet some of you on campus and, uh, good luck. Thanks. Bye-bye.